Here's a, another picture I took of um, in Kingsbury Water Park. I can't remember the name of this uh, lake now, but we've got some nice reflections here we can we can use. Um, and I just want to make a bit more of this uh, foreground here. Like a, imagine like a, doing a, a quick sweep with the hike just to bring the foreground to play a bit more. So I've got all the usual kit. You can you can see in the um, description underneath the video all the uh, materials. So the first thing I'm going to do, using the, the large hike and the, a jar full of clean water, give the uh, paper a good a good soaking. You need to wet it enough so it, it, it stays wet for at least a couple of minutes. I mean I generally give it one sort of wet, wet coat and then if you just dip the very tips of the brush in the water and you can just about see the, the water as, it, as it's coming down the page and that should give you at least a couple of minutes then to get in what you need to so you're not having to rush too crazily. So I'm just giving um, So that now I'll do um, ultramarine and a bit of Payne's grey and I'll try and create a, a, bit of, a bit of light coming down the middle. So one of these, just brush it in from both sides. Coming in from both, just making sure I don't touch this uh, central area. You just get a sort of light reflecting off the water type of look. Push that in. Just want to try and get it. Obviously, the darker, the darker you can get it, the more sort of the lighter the uh, the central area will look. Need to try and get it in before the paper starts to dry because otherwise all these soft edges will start to go hard and it'll, you'll lose the effect of it then. That'll do for that. And then sticking with the same two colours, um, we have the horizon about two thirds of the way up. using the corner of the brush and I'm starting to put these uh, the bushes in. Same two colours but with a bit of uh, lemon yellow in it as well. Just to add it add that sort of green greeny feel to it. Also a bit of a uh, bit of raw sienna I won't do any harm either. And that sort of Getting smaller. And obviously, before the papers uh, get the reflections in, before the paper starts to dry, otherwise these edges will start to go hard as well. And the reflections don't have to be absolutely bang on. As long as they're there or thereabouts, you'll uh, they'll create the impression. No need to go any further because these near side trees are going to uh, cover that up. A little, few, little darker ones in front, not forgetting the reflection as you put them in. I even switch to the uh, the rigger as well. Switch to the rigger and put a few little twigs and branches. Just sort of popping out here and there. Yeah, then it's reflecting those down as well. Not too much. Then we just just paint over what you don't like. Which was actually most of that, to be honest with you. But uh, never mind. 
my use the uh, fingernail method. I'm just going to pull this tight. Paper stretched. So I just want to pull it tight. So I've got a flat surface to work with. Nothing. Crack on with it again. So I might go into a little bit of uh, ultramarine um, burnt umber. Can't really see much, but just, just put a little bit of a little bit of a bank in there. I don't want to get much more than that. Suggest the odd little. Strong some branches. Maybe just a little touch of red, not so much. Just to, just to give it to give it something to think about. And then just pop it in the reflections as you're going along. You can see it's starting to dry now. And losing those soft edges, but Get away with. I can get away with scratching out a little bird. Just a little bird flying past. It's still slightly damp, so I'm going for a, a dark area. It's a sideways bird. Hang on. No, I don't like that. I'm going to paint straight over that. A bit of reflection as well. Right then. So next I'm going to do this foreground tree. Starting on the right hand side. Um, same colour, I'm going lemon yellow. Payne's grey, ultramarine, and I'm just going to use the corner, just the corner of the brush. Just the corner of the brush, a bit of light red, just because it's a nice strong colour and it'll get, it'll get a quick contrast to that. Ultramarine, burnt umber, just to get really dark down there in the shadows. Switching to the rigger. There's a few little a few branches coming up there. So these dark colours, yeah, sort of going down the hill, like that. and then that's a sweep, a bit more. Now you can't see me in the picture, but. I'll just stick a few little rocks. Little stones and whatever on there. Again, just paint over what you don't like or if you've overdone them. Now I want to do these uh, fallen branches, trunks into the water. So there's like a, a big one there. Uh, 
then she's coming off there. Um, quick way, just suggesting a few um, little leaves and whatnot. Just get your rigger brush. Just really scruff it up so you've, it's the hairs are going 360 degrees all round, and then just just pop the leaves on. And then just scuff it up, and just pop the leaves on. Maybe even some red, a bit of red. Red's a bit dry, so there ain't gonna be much coming off there. Hang on, let's, let's wet it up a bit. A few little red bits. flowers in there or whatever they are. Back to the uh, the hike and then just a little bit of, bits of grasses sticking off. Yeah, and just get the foreground nice and dark. bird flying and another one and another one um, I think I'll call that one done just a simple little scene see how I've sort of tried to uh, capture the sunlight down the middle just try and add a bit of bit of drama to it so this is the uh, finished painting. So if we just have another quick look at the photograph. You can see I've tried to put this sort of lights area down the middle just to try and dramatise it a bit more because it's such a, a, a simple scene. I've tried to get the, the reflections in into the water as I've gone along. And these little rocks and pebbles in the foreground contrast quite nicely with the uh, with all the shadows. And these little sort of dollops of red and blue paint just suggest a few flowers hiding in the uh, in the dark shadows of the uh, foreground foliage. So it's changed, uh, you know, I've changed it a bit from the uh, photograph. But uh, I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing, and I'll see you again soon.